So here we are with the unmistakable figure of Will Greenwood. Uh, we're going to talk all things Six Nations very shortly, but first, we're in central London. There's a board behind you that says Rugby World Cup 2015 Official Hospitality. Why are you sitting here, sir? I'm sitting here because today is one of the staging posts in terms of the, uh, the release of tickets for the magnificent event that will be the Rugby World Cup 2015 in England, the final at Twickenham. And on January the 1st, 2013, just about 2014, just about a month ago, the travel packages went on sale, of which there are 200,000 packages, allowing those from South Africa and New Zealand to plan for their semi-finals and final that they consistently seem to make. On the 1st of February, which is uh, Saturday approaching, um, the next red tranche of tickets will go on sale for the corporate hospitality side, of which there will be 150,000. The big figure of tickets is 2.3 million. Now, very quickly, uh, it's next year. Hopefully, England will have a great World Cup. Uh, I'm being slightly put off by Wales. Yes, well, don't worry about the Welsh. Let's talk about in our group. Don't worry about the Welsh. They'll be Stuart Lancaster is. Let's talk about the English. France, Saturday, Paris. Uh, bold selection, to say the least, but one that I suspect excites you. What's going to happen? Uh, tremendously exciting. Um, the good old-fashioned days in the 70s, 80s, 90s, when you needed 400 um, club games before you'd be considered for a test match are uh, long gone. The, the genuine joy and the real sentiment behind if you're good enough, you are old enough, is a fantastic one in the sporting arena. And to see numbers 11 through 14 have nine caps between them, eight of whom go to Billy Trees, just tells you the enormity of the challenge in terms of what they have to do in Paris and adapt quickly because when the Marseillaise bangs out, when that Stade de France greets their team, um, when the cockerel, they don't release a cockerel onto the pitch anymore like they used to, but there's still a, there's still a moment and we're not quite sure what it is, still a signal when they come at you and they come at you hard down that midfield channel through their power, you've got to be ready and you've got to learn very, very quickly. So. It's, it's tremendously exciting. Some of the selection has been down to, has been forced by uh, a large string of injuries to certain key players. But that does not mean that it's a, a wonderful opportunity for Johnny May, Jack Nowell, Luther Burrell to, to show the world what their club sides know already. Mm. Well, no baggage. Uh, you're young, you're fearless. Could work in their favour. Fearless is incorrect. Everyone is fear. Everyone will be in their first cap changing room. No matter what they say, thinking, O M G, hashtag scared, whatever it is we say in this tweet obsessed world, uh, there is fear. The key to fear, though, is not being afraid of fear, it's conquering fear. And if you can conquer fear, then it's a pretty special feeling to be in a change room with a group of lads who can stare each other in the eye, into each other's soul, and go, whatever comes out of that opposition changing room, we are ready. Score? I knew you'd ask me that. My bet this weekend is that England will be leading at half time with Farrell's precision as the French and their new combinations, similar to England, struggle to adapt. And the pressures that come with being the home side at the Stade de France, where they will whistle and boo if things go wrong, my fear is that the French may come out on top. If you are asking me a direct question as an ex-England player and an England supporter, who do I think may come out on top on Saturday? I genuinely believe, and I've been laughed at for this, were England to pull this off with the number of caps they have in their back line, this to me would be as good as Lancaster's victory over the All Blacks at Twickenham. Okay, thank you. Wilson.